Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. If things get bloody, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't answer the question. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes. I suppose you are. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Corrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. from the other side. Welcome to High Point. Lord, 
My men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? to keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? No. To justice. To justice, then. Now, I want to see Ryan. And I want something, too. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. You brought me here to discuss Ironwood. I brought you here to discuss your family's future. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons. And I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten... So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me slaughtering your small folk. Griff's no longer in charge of Iron Wrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I... I thought you'd forgotten about... <laughs> no! No! What are you doing? You... imprison my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I swear by the gods if you will... He's a child! Uh, a son! For a shot. This is not what we're Blame doing. him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... Do you think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourth born? I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Why you hold me? Let him! Go on then. Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. 
Whitey. He's still a white. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <coughs> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. It won't be long, Lord. And when they come, I hope that bastard flays you alive. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Roderick. 